this video I'm going to show you how to use the beautiful brand new Christmas die Calling Angels from John Next Door along with the new pinstripe poinsettia, the classic poinsettia which has been out for quite a while and the new Leslie's twigs. So we're going to start with the frame and what I'm going to do is I want to do a card with matte and layers and I'm using this gorgeous craft artist waterfall glitter card in silver which has this beautiful sort of stretched, we call it a waterfall because it's just like water falling down the glitter card. Now, I don't want to waste any of this. So what I've done to start with is I've used the largest die in the set from the mat at the back and I've cut out a panel, which will be for my frame. So that what I can do is use that straight onto my card blank and I can then mat and layer over it and nobody knows I'm not using a full piece of the card. It's the best way to get the economy out of the card that you're using. And I always say, die cut, don't gut. There's no point having a scrap of card. This one is going to be used. So what I need to do now is I want to cut this as a frame and the die comes with an outside line, an inside line and the frame section. And the frame section just cuts into the card. You need to add either the outside or the inside or both to make a frame piece. So I'm going to need the outside and I'm going to need the inside piece. So I take a long piece of tape and I put that onto two fingers, just like this, so that I've got complete control. I pick up the first die in the set, which is the inside line. That gives me two handles and allows me to just gently move that over the top until I'm happy that it's even. I can then pick up the frame and I can place that onto my piece of card ready to cut it. So all I need to do then is to add that onto my plate. I'm going to use a shim as it's quite a detailed die and we would run that through and cut it. And once that's been cut, Going to show you the piece that I would get. So once it's been cut I get this beautiful frame with all the snowflakes in there and I get the centre section and what I want to do now is to put a colour behind it. So I'm going to just spray glue the back of this as I find it the easiest and quickest way to attach it. If you don't have any spray glue you can of course just use a light-hearted glue or the craft artist glue glaze has the little brush inside which makes it so easy to attach to delicate die cuts and what I've done is I've cut this piece of white glitter card to exactly the same size again using the die that comes in the set but what I want now is a centre section cut out of this so I'm going to use the dies that are in the set to make it easier for me so I'm going to take the central die and I'm just going to clip that back into place. So I'm going to clip that back into place, there we go. So it's sitting back in, and that will cut through that back layer. And we just need to take that down securely to make sure that that works. So we would get that, and we will run that through our die cutting machine. And what I'm gonna do now, I'll bring in the piece that I've already done. Again, to save some time, I've already cut this frame and as you can see you've got the beautiful white at the back and this gorgeous silver at the front and I've just added a little bit of foam tape onto there so that I've got a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to bring in now the card blank and what I've done is I've matted and layered this with a little bit of the white glitter card, a little bit of the silver waterfall again by cutting out the middle section I've then matted a little bit more in this beautiful soft silver card. This is from Lime Tree Crafts. And so I'm going to take my tape off and I'm just going to add my frame onto it. So we'll take this off and we'll add the frame onto the back. So evenly spaced and we simply glue that on. So we've got frame piece and a beautiful card. And I want this to work on a landscape, so it's going to go like that. And all I've done here is add a few little gems on the inside of every piece. 
except one. Well done, John. I've missed one there, but you won't miss one when you're doing it. And if you spot it, just add another gem onto it. So what I'm going to do now is to cut the calling angels themselves. And to show you that, this is a piece of the silver that I've used for the back. And the calling angel dies, you get two that face each other. I love the idea of having these face each other. And these are designed in two pieces, one that cuts the detail and one that cuts the outside, allowing you to either cut this into the card or to cut it out with the frame, but also to use the frame piece for a solid at the back. So all we would do is to use the long piece of tape trick again, take a long piece of tape, put it onto your fingers, pick up that central angel, bring in the frame, and that allows you the two handles to simply just go around, make sure it's nice and even. And then we can tape that to our card and we can run that through and cut it. So I'm going to do the second one because we'll cut both of them. So again, a piece of tape allows you the handles to just get it right and put it on. And I always think it's worth on a card like this, placing them nicely because this then becomes the start of another piece. So again, I'm going to shim that and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. So while that's running through, I'm going to bring in, what I've done next is I've cut using just the outside line of the die, two backs for these in the waterfall silver glitter card. And again, what we need to do is to place a piece on top. So here's what I'll get when the die cut is completed. Those through. I'll just take these out and I can show you that I've already cut the piece. So when we peel these back, we get our angels with all of the detail cut out of them. And this is perfect for paper piecing, but use that. We could put that over a piece of the silver and we could cut into the silver with the detail and give ourselves a real card with dimension. So I take off the outline, just take off the detail die. We'll give that a quick flick and we'll just take a pokey tool and just take out the detail. And there we've got the beautiful detailed angel. And this band here is designed to be separate piece so that it actually goes like that to give more of the curls in there. And you can actually see this in the die. It comes to there and then goes up to there. But what we would then do is to use just the outline on its own and cut ourselves one in a matching or a coordinating or contrasting colour to go with it. So I'm going to again add a little bit of spray glue for speed onto the back of this one. And I find this a lot easier with um, detailed die cuts, but again, you could use the glue glaze. You see that fits exactly. So we now have our angel in silver with the beautiful sort of glitter going through. And I'm just shaping it slightly in my hands, just so that I've got a little bit of shape. And I'll just move that back into place. There we go. You can see there I've got my angel. So if I bring in one that I've already done facing that, I've now got the two facing angels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that and we're going to bring this in to the card. Now, to add a little bit more interest, I've used Leslie's Twigs die, and I've cut these in the soft white glitter card again. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of an arrangement on. So you get two sort of larger twigs and lots of smaller pieces. So I'm just gonna put down to start with a basis or a base of the larger twigs. So I'm using the glue glaze as it's a very quick grab glue. And we're going to go, there we go, get a little bit more out. And the great thing with these is these are designed singularly, so they're not reflective, so you've got a lot more detail. So you could really take a spray in any direction that you want to. So we're just going to put those ones down. And I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape and add this to the back of each of my angels move this forward sorry a little bit to the back of each of the angels and we'll 
I'll take the protective strip off. And I'm going to have my calling angels facing each other into that center area. And again, if you want to get them even, use the patterning on the snow globes, on the actual snowflakes, just to make sure I've got those nice and even. Let's just pop the trumpet on the front. So I've got my angels calling into the center of that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some of the poinsettia dies. And what I've done here, we have the plain poinsettia and we have the new pinstripe poinsettia. And what I want to show you on this, it is quite important if you're putting two together, your instinct should be to pop them next to each other. That puts a lot of strain on your machine. You're asking too many points. So I put one in the top left and one in the bottom right. And the pinstripe has a lot of detail. So again, I'm going to shim that one just to make sure it gets that extra pressure. And we'll run that one through. While that's running through, I will show you how they actually work. So when they're cut, the solid will give you the solid piece. The detail will give you all of the detail to fit on top. And you just rotate around until you find the exact matching spot where they fit together. And again, I would use spray glue to stick these on. So I'm just going to do the two largest to start with. And what you can do if you want to is just glue these in the center so that you actually get that little bit of uplift. So we'll look and we'll find it round until I'm happy that it's in the right place. Every time I do this, I get them right first time and then keep moving them. So we can see there. So if I move this onto the black, it will be a little bit easier. So you can see there, we've got all the detail of that leaf and we've got the solid inside showing. So again, just rotate it round until you'll find the matching point and the leaves don't repeat. So there is only one matching point on that. And then to put this flower together, all I'm going to do is simply pinch each petal between finger and thumb over my finger. So I pinch each petal and then fold each petal up. So the same on the larger. And these were designed so that you could use and um, cut yourself two sets and put the large with the large the next size down. Or you could do this where you actually put the smaller into the larger and you still get a good shaped flower. So I would put those in and what I've been using for the centres of these are these beautiful Crafts 2, Craft Artist stamens. These are glass beads on a sort of tulip shape. But if we actually pull them off the wire, they make the absolute perfect centre for these. Fit exactly and just really look nice. So I'm going to bring in one that I've already done here and I've just used a little bit of hot glue to put that on. So we'll move this away. I'm going to bring the card back. I'm then going to take a little bit and I would use hot glue again or the craft artist glue and put plenty on. And I'm going to have one of the poinsettias just in the center. And again, if you use hot glue, it will grab straight away. But as you can see, the Craft Artist glue glaze really does grab quickly. And to finish off, I'm going to pull in a few more pieces of the twigs. And we're just going to decorate those. So again, a little bit of the glue glaze. And tuck those in. And I like to glue just the end and leave them loose because it has so much more flow. It looks so much more natural when it does that. So we'll just go a little bit of that in there. There we go. And there's some smaller pieces which fit beautifully inside the flower. 
So again, I always like to tuck a couple in to the flower itself, just again to give that little bit of lift. There we go, and coming out. And there we've got a beautiful card where we have the angels calling with a poinsettia in the centre and that beautiful snowflake frame, which comes from the calling angels die over the over the whole piece. So quite simple to do when you break it down into steps, but a beautiful card. You could just change the colours and you'd have something absolutely stunning. Enjoy. <laughs>